Hi guys, today we're gonna be doing a little reverse back and we're gonna be drawing Edward Milton, my first character in the Archive series. Uh, unfortunately, he has passed, R.I.P. Milton. Edward Milton, raised by tigers. He was raised by tigers. I loved him. Uh, he loved reading. Just talking sort of like, he's an Asimar, but like he doesn't look like it, so. He's also a warlock, but he doesn't look like it, so. Working on these feetsies over here, trying to get this perspective of these little footsies, but don't think I really get them good at the end, looking at the final picture. Doot doot, just arranging some feet, making some stuff longer. He is so thick, look at that little booty. Look at that little booty. I love that little booty on him. He's just like, hmm. Oh, also, for totally forgot, starting the whole drawing with actually drawing the pose instead of just like starting halfway after I've drawn the pose, I felt so confident. JK, this is half, this is a continued recording because the first recording was me drawing Edward Milton but in a different pose and I was just like, he was like lying down holding a book and I was just like, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Take this off my screen. Ugh. So I took it off my screen and I started it again. I did a completely new one. I had my double monitor set up. So instead of having the reference on screen, I had it on my second monitor for poses, which was really fun. Also, I cheated. I flipped him over because I wanted, I didn't, because he has like a skull, Tony the Tiger skull on his, uh, let me turn around, left shoulder. So I really wanted, I didn't want to have to draw the back of the Tony the Tiger skull, so I just positioned him in a way that would just like, I wanted to be very comfortable when I drew this. I wasn't in the mood to draw something uncomfortable today. So we really got comfortable. Also, did most of it on one layer, and then I'm like, come on, you can't do everything on one layer, you're gonna get confused. So I like started to do the hair on a different layer. I love his big messy hair. His big messy hair is just so fun. It's so floofy. Look at how floofy that hair is. Oh, and his like little eyes here. So his whole thing is like Edward Milton raised by tigers. He was raised by tigers. His brother is Tony the tiger. This face shape, I have no clue what I'm doing with. Uh, he is, was raised by tigers. Tony the Tiger was his brother. His Tony the Tiger ascended to becoming a deity and blessed Edward with uh, warlock powers. You know, sort of like watching out for your bro. Uh, and then like, Tony the Tiger said, I need those powers back and then just straight up killed him. And I think that's fun. I think that was a fun thing that happened. Because now we get to play as a, a my immortel, which is little Morty, little dead body. I might revive Edward Milton for like a different campaign or something because he was a fun character. I just had no clue like what his goals were, you know? He was a lot of ideas, but he was a lot of concepts, but nothing ended up coming concrete enough for me to sort of like role play him. I don't know. It was really difficult to sort of get in the head of Edward Milton because he was a little crazy, but most of my characters are crazy giving him little horns. So he is an Asimar, but like, I don't think Asimars have horns. Uh, so I don't really know what this whole horn situation is. I just think these horns are cool. Maybe he's wearing like a fake, like plastic headband of horns right around his head, which I think is pretty funny. But like, I love that a character that doesn't have, that's not supposed to have horns has horns, but my other character more, like his horns were an afterthought. I just think that's hilarious. I just think it's funny. And I'm pretending, I'm tired of pretending that it's not, okay? Doing this Tony the Tiger, free handing a Tony the Tiger skull, I have ascended to a godlike tier. All you other artists are beneath me. Try and free hand a Tony the Tiger, no reference by the way. I had no reference for the skull. I like, I just free handed it. It was amazing. I felt a rush. It was like I just did, I, well, it was like a rush. Oh my god, I'm still coming down from the high of uh, making that skull. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, fixing his pose because I didn't like how he was because he was loopy, so I made him even loopier. I wanted to give him like swayed back sort of a uh, posture. You like too cool for school kind of thing. Because I've already drawn him once and that's the posture that I really like for him. 
I don't know. I don't think I've made it work on this one, I'm gonna be honest, but I like it regardless. When I get to the coloring, the coloring's good. His, okay, his body feels like Edward Milton, but his face, I don't know what I did wrong. But like, it's not bad, it's not bad enough for me to be like, I, you're the worst artist that ever existed. Because like, I save it, it still looks good, it still looks like it fits with the other characters. But I'm just like, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if I did anything wrong. Maybe it's just my eyes. Maybe I've been like just awake for too long. I don't know. Drawing my very, very happy pants. I love pants that are floofy and then they get cut like slim with these little, we talked about these last time on Damaris, these little cocktail dress leg shin calf things. I have no clue what they are, but they show up everywhere in my art. I don't know what they are, I don't know when they started to invade my art style, but if I ever just am lazy with pants, that's what happens. Also, I just remembered because I picked the music ahead of time for this speed draw, it's one of my favorite songs. It's so good. i definitely link in the description to check it out. It's probably going to get this uh, video demonetized, but I really don't care. Or like, copyright claim? Probably demonetized. I'm not really 100% I'm not 100% sure, but what can you do? Also, third time I'm recording this audio because, I don't know, messed up a couple times. It may be, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, but now I'm feeling it. I got in it. We're in this. Uh, looking at his design, he's a little wonky, a little lopsided, but you know, I'm not going to be seeing much of this drawing. I sort of just drew it to forget about it so I have some, like a speed draw to upload because I like voicing them over. Giving him like nice bright, nice bright orange hair, nice floofy bright orange hair, and gave like, <laughs> I gave Tony the Tiger some like leaf ears so like this is better fit like you can see the silhouette a bit better. I don't know. I think it helps a lot though. I love this purple. These two purple, this light purple and dark purple combo with the orange. It's so good. I love it so much. And then the bone color of the like horn skull and then like the little bells because he's a cat haha <laughs> get it little cat bells uh i just i feel like the color scheme for this really came together the shading I have absolutely no idea why it shows such a like blood red such a nice blood red but like i really on its own i like the blood red color but like for shading this i don't know what i was thinking i do end up changing it later i'm pretty sure like when we do the whole multiply thing his little bell earring, I really like that. I think that was a cute touch. What else am I supposed to talk about? Oh yeah, I wanna go back to the music for a second. If you have any recommendations on music, I'd love to hear it. I love listening to new music. And don't be embarrassed if you think your music choice is like bad because I unironically listen to the Winx Club theme and like all of the Winx Club OST, like unironically, cause I just love the music. And the music slaps and you should listen to it too. Uh, so I'm really down for any other, like, music choices you've got. I want to hear it. Doing some more shading on this shawl. This little scarf. I love the bow. Freehanded that bow. Felt amazing after I freehanded that bow. Do some more shading, shading, shading. Oh, it's, it's like a, it's like a jam. It's a raspberry color for the shading. Do you see that? It's not like a blood red. It's a raspberry. I love that raspberry color is amazing never had a raspberry before really should like maybe have one I, there's a lot of fruit i haven't had i'm gonna this summer i'm gonna go on a rampage and try every single fruit i've never had before that's gonna be a fun time do uh his okay so i need to be like cat like implying he's a cat without like saying he's a cat because he's not a cat person so he doesn't have cat ears but he has like this rope that he ties around his waist and it sort of forms a cat tail his like horns sort of like bush up his hair so like kind of cat ears silhouette oh he yeah looking for that uh tiger print for his little shawl which i think is just the cutest thing it's his mom he's wearing his mom around and i think that's adorable <laughs> Oh, I got a little dark there for a second, but like, hey, this is the channel that we do look at like weird shit for references, so. Uh, I don't really, let me look at this. No, I'm not gonna look at this. I'm like, I was gonna pull up the previous, uh, the first ever Ed Edward Milton drawing that I ever looked up, looked up, that I ever drew, hello? 
and like figure out why but i'm like i'm not sure i'm not sure why he doesn't look like other edward miltons he looks every edward milton i've ever drawn sort of like builds upon because i've drawn edward milton four times and they've all looked completely different like the design keeps building oh it's so fun i'll have to like do a whole like show the process i it's because it's gone so wild at this point oh adding cheek blushes that i don't like it's because the eye bags are too low that the cheeks don't make sense so i'm just like maybe he won't just he won't blush looking at the final drawing up and close that's all fun and dandy. And then there. And then that's it. Uh, but I have to do an outro so because somebody asked for it. So uh, this is it. Bye, guys.